Seriously? Do I really have to hire a real estate agent to sell my property? Can't I just put it on Kijiji or Craigslist or put a big lawn sign saying for sale by owner and sell it for whatever the price I want to get? Doesn't it work like that? So if this is what you're thinking, and again, this is the common question that I get and also I thought myself the same way uh, when before I'm a realtor, before I'm an investor. So again, in this video, I'm gonna go over a few things why it's really 100% worth by hiring a real estate agent. And of course, there are some downsides of it. I'll be sharing those as well, so stay tuned. Namaskar Adabar Sevanakam. What's up everyone? Hope you guys staying home and safe. If you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification for an awesome content regarding real estate. And also my personal journey as a realtor and also as an investor and many other you know financial related discussions. And if you've been following me, you know what I'm gonna ask you. If you like my content, hit that thumbs up button. Because if you don't hit it, YouTube doesn't like me. If YouTube doesn't like me, I don't like myself. So please do me a favor. So again, you know, this is a, a question, really common question that been going around for a while. You know, they say that, you know, hey, agents are going away. No one, now everyone wants to sell online. Is it that, is that really true? Um, can you really get a best price or terms for your property when you sell yourself? Is that true? Trust me, I'm gonna go over five points uh, why that's not true. And again, there is some negative side of it. I will discuss that as well at the end. But these five points, go over those details very thoroughly, then make a decision whatever you wanna do. So. First of all, the number one thing that you need to be aware of is the market. What's, you need to have a solid market understanding. So what I mean by that? First of all, you need to know what's the current market conditions are. Second of all, you need to know all the market stats to give a realistic idea of your property value. Because if you don't know your property value, then how can you sell it? How can you sell it for the right price? So if you see that, you know, some of your, one of your neighbor sold the property for 500,000. Now, if you feel like, now you, you might feel like that, oh, my property is worth 500 because it's on the same street and it's sold for 500. Come on, trust me. In Canada, unfortunately, every house looks totally different and every house have certain unique things. And, you know, some people have a, a bigger bedroom. Some people merge two bedrooms into one bedroom. Some people open up their kitchens like mine. Some people still have the old kitchen. Some people have open basements. Some people have finished basements. Some people have made their basement as a nice, like a studio. Some people made it as a like entertainment. Some people made it a bar. So there are many elements that goes into evaluating a property value. So that's really crucial, especially if you wanna get the value. Again, I'm not saying your property doesn't have all those things, but what if you have all those things and now you're comparing with the property that is super inferior than yours? So that means you're losing money on your property. Or if you think that the other property is sold for 500 and that is superior than yours, like way superior than yours, now you're trying to ask for that price. Now you will just sit on it for a long run. So that's really important. You need to have the market understanding and the market data. So where is a professional? Again, I'm, I'm not talking about agents who are like working part time, who doesn't really do this a full time. They're only selling like one or two properties a year. They're not really in it, but I'm talking about the professional agents who are like, you know, there are definitely more than 20% of agents in any city or like giving they live and breathe real estate that's the kind of people i'm talking about so now if you talk to that person they do understand the market and they do have all the stats they they walk you your property with you and they understand the story of your property because they want to know every details of your property now they go pull the market data based on your property 
because now they have a realistic idea so that's really crucial guys trust me i have seen this and i have seen so many articles saying that you know so so many websites that they have done research on does the property sell for higher price or lower price when they sell by the you know by the, themselves so market data shows that if you sell by yourself you will sell way lower than the market value so that's really important market data and the second thing is the maximum you need to give maximum exposure for your property what i mean by that let me dive a little bit deep into it so maximum exposure in the sense like now you're trying to sell your property now what kind of marketings you have you will do probably you will put it on kijiji you'll put it on craigslist you'll put it up you'll put a big, big sale sign if you're a little bit more savvy you can run a facebook ad or instagram ad that's it but now maximum exposure you can really get by working with a realtor because now they have access to this mls multi-listing service which is huge because that data now all the buyers who are looking who are looking in that particular city let's say if you're looking to sell in windsor now there are like ton of buyers in windsor looking for properties they all whoever working with realtors they set up auto emails for themselves by the realtor so what happens now whoever the buyers let's say they are looking for three bedroom two bath house and they all get this particular property once it wins once this property go on to the mls so what does that mean this in potential actual buyers who are seriously looking for that particular type of property now getting your market your property update whereas when you put it on kijiji or elsewhere only people will find when they go on to that website but whereas mls they the potential buyer is getting an email into his inbox as soon as the property put on the market again that's a, that's really important thing you have to understand that how many people can really look at your property so you have to make sure you get that maximum exposure and the third thing is negotiation that's really important element because when you're trying to sell yourself there's so much emotion involved in it because even if i'm selling my own property i'll i feel like so connected to my property oh i spend so much efforts or you know so much time in making this particular island or maybe making that lights it was my hard heart and soul into it or maybe making whatever now you have all this personal emotions into it when the buyer brings an offer all of a sudden when you're like your reactions to that offer will be very different whereas when you have a third person who is negotiating on your behalf is totally different because for now when i'm negotiating for my seller i'm actually a professional hired by my client who is actually my best interest is to get the best price and the terms and conditions for my seller that means now i don't have i don't take any emotions from the buyer side because i don't care my business my job is to get what my client is looking for and i have to be in a position to negotiate that in a right way because you know when you're trying to sell yourself you can say when there is an offer comes in you don't know what the buyer can potentially go up to but all of a sudden if you emotionally react to that offer saying this is literally my property is way more worth than this you know if that things happen now all of a sudden the buyer might have went up on his price now all of a sudden he's he went out because you reacted to it and his emotions also kind of got disrupted that's that's another thing so you have to negotiate really well in order to get the better price and you need to work with someone who can understand that again this negotiation and the third party negotiation is not a new thing it's been a, for a while like athletes or um, movie stars and all this big um, celebrities what they do they have a third party person 
and negotiators specifically to negotiate their contracts go look up on any website like on on their profile they'll have someone who negotiate the contract for them because the contractor and they hire the professional not the you know navy guy who doesn't know much they hire the professional guy who understands all these contracts and on, who understands the whole setup who can really get the best who can work for them that's really important guys so negotiation plays a major role to get the better price and the number four handling the process because there is a lot of things goes in the into selling the process you need to make sure you have the property ready to set and ready to put it on the market you need to make sure you have professional you know photos and everything taken care you need to make sure you have your you know um you have your property ready to show to the clients and you need to make sure all the documents has been sent to your uh, lawyer and for the buyer's lawyer make sure they got all the details that they need and you know so many things this process it's a it's a uh, daunting process when you have a third party person who can you know because now who is working on your behalf working on your best interests now he will make sure he takes all that responsibility to you know go through all this process and the number 5 this is another important thing that many don't realize when you hire a realtor it's no risk for you what i mean by that bear with me for a second here because there is no risk what i mean is now if you're hiring the right professional he's going to put his time and his money in the front line be just with the hope of selling that property at the price what you want and at the price the market value is what i mean by that so now if i'm listing a property i spend money on the photos i spend money on the virtual tours and all those things i spend my time in analyzing and in doing all the getting the property ready and listing it and marketing it marketing on facebook instagram kgg and everywhere professionally as much as possible not just the mls i'm doing all this stuff without even getting paid because i get paid as a realtor any realtor will get paid at the time of closing that means just understand this guys you you are paying the realtor only when the transaction is completed only when you got the money so what does that mean you're hiring a professional if he does a good job then only you sign on the offer right like if you don't get what's your property value is would you sign on it would you accept the offer most likely no so that means the the agent's time and effort and everything is gone and again for a normal agent maybe he might worry about it but for a professional now he would do his best to get what you want so when get what um market value is and what you want pretty much then only you will sign on it right so that means your risk is less in hiring this person because he's going to do all the job to make sure you get what you want so that's a key that's that's a big thing and a one final bonus tip that i feel is he's going to save a lot of time for you because there is so much things that will go around you literally you don't have to worry about any of this process all you need to do is a sign a contract listing agreement and then he will go through all the process he or she you will just make sure you give the access and all those things and then finally when he gets the offer you look at it you say yes or no or maybe you can say hey i want this then only i'll sign so pretty much your if you're a busy professional working on something your own dream projects other than selling your property now he or she is saving you a ton of time so that's huge guys for many people that's really important so now what's the negative side of it what's the negative side of it so the big thing is if you're like if your property is in a rough shape and you you want to sell it quick you don't want to you, you don't worry about what's the market and all again to putting it on the market is a time taking process right so that's why if you want to sell it quickly of course that's where the best thing is just selling it off market off market it could be with the realtor and you know just saying hey don't put it on the market just send it to some 
agent, some people whom you know and I will do my best same thing just put it on the KGG and for sale by owner and anyone gets and just make an offer or cash offer you just sell it if you want something you know if you're in a position that you want to sell it really quickly or in a rush or your property is in a rough condition you you doesn't really want have patience or enough time to go through all this process then of course hiring an agent is not worth it that's the only thing i can think of oh actually second thing i would say is like hiring a wrong agent not the if you're working with hey i know a friend of mine is a realtor i'll go with him but if he doesn't know anything about the market if he doesn't know how to market the property to get the best attention you can to get the best price then you're doing the mistake so don't hire the right wrong person go check out what's the personal person's capacity how is he doing with with the social media how is he doing with the you know presenting the property on the market how his pictures look like how his videos look like what kind of you know um, what kind of marketing plan does he has um, what kind of a database does he have how many buyers does he has in his list you know think about those things rather than do i really have to hire because especially if it's if your property is in a good condition you need a nice solid price for your property what market can pay then obviously don't ask the agent or don't ask yourself a question like why do i have to uh, why do i have to hire a guy um, a real estate agent rather ask whom do you do i have to hire in order to get the best price for my property and what that person bring on to the table in order to get the best price and terms for my property so that's what i would recommend you guys again i know this is a lot of stuff i'm um, i tried my best uh, i tried my best to put it in a simple terms um to make you understand again th those are all uh, what i feel and what my from my personal uh, journey and you know i i have many examples i can go over um, for how i sold me and my team um how we sold properties for way over over the market values in some scenarios where the properties are you know when we did a fantastic job so again um that's what these are all the words coming from a realtor so don't forget that again always make your own judgment um based on what you think is right or wrong but also let me know in the comments below am i really true am i really suggesting a right thing so please share feel free to share your thoughts because i really love to hear your um mindset you know your your thought process um with that thank you so much guys and have a wonderful day